Big Finish presents Doctor Who Short Trips, Gardener's Worlds. And this just in, news of a disturbance in the village of Colston Burley, where locals are reporting all manner of unusual happenstance, from disappearing dogs and dustbins to the sudden arrival of a new monument on the village green. I'm told the authorities have asked everyone to remain calm and stay indoors while they investigate. Turn that thing off, will you, Joe? I've had it impossible to think with it blathering on in the background. And a good morning to you, too. Joe strode into the laboratory, eyeing the TARDIS warily. Bundled cables trailed from the open door to the doctor's workbench, where he was hunched over with his back to her, intent on some typically esoteric task. It might be, if only I can get this blasted etheric recalcitrator to work. Joe grinned. Listen, there's no time to worry about that. Sergeant Benton's just told me that Captain Yates has radioed for our help. He's at that village now, the one on the radio, Colston, whatchamacallit. The doctor peered myopically at a tiny electrical component he held pinched between the thumb and forefinger of his left hand. Joe walked over to stand beside him, leaning against the workbench. She had to stifle a giggle when she noticed his tongue was poking out of the corner of his mouth like a lugubrious snail. Missing dustbins and mumbo-jumbo. Is that really the extent of unit's ambition these days, Joe? So you were listening. Hmm. Big finish. We love stories. <laughs>